like I was talking about a bit earlier about human beings always needing an enemy and how that's actually used to play on mankind's fears and I think people should really explore the idea of why they feel that they always need to have a scapegoat for someone to point at as an enemy. Too often, and it's really obvious, like I said, you can see this on the internet, We, and you can see it on the news and everything else, we have a war on everything. There's a war on drugs. This is how people see things. War on drugs. War on the middle class. War on Al-Qaeda. War on terror. At any rate, it's always some sort of a war on something, and it has to do with mankind pointing at another uh, aspect of mankind and then blaming them for the entirety of everything that's wrong. I see it all the time with people and conspiracy theorists who are always blaming the elites. The elites are a reflection of ourselves. The elites grew up here too. The elites were put on this planet as well. These people aren't demons. These people aren't reptilians. They are human beings who went astray. Now, I'm not going to say that they don't have negative tendencies. I'm not going to say that they're not sociopathic. And I'm not going to even say that they don't have negative entities that may be pulling their strings. But we look at people, and especially in the conspiracy realm too, I see people who are always blaming the Jews. They're blaming the Freemasons. They're blaming the Illuminati. They're blaming the politicians. But not one of these people generally tend to look at themselves and ask themselves whether they're a part of this problem or not. They hardly ever look and, and see whether or not, oh, am I contributing to the violence? Am I contributing to the separation? Am I contributing to all this by pointing my fingers and going, there they are, that's them. It's humanity that has the problem. I've talked about this before, but if you look at the military, the military even though they take their order from generals and those guys take their orders from elites or people who are above them and so on and so on and so on, the military itself is voluntary. The people who come in the middle of the night and kill your children and kill all the people, that's us. Those are the people who go and volunteer and they'll take those orders and see the thing is, is they're doing it because they want to exercise those tendencies. People join the military knowing what it is they're going to do. They join the military with full knowledge of what the military represents and how it operates on this planet. That's us. So you can't point your finger at the elites and say, these are the guys that are doing it when the people willingly, again, it's voluntary, people willingly sign up knowing exactly what it is they're going into. Doesn't matter whether they've been lied to and whether they found out that the war was a sham. Doesn't matter whether they were lied to and they found out that instead of protecting Americans, okay, that they're actually protecting interests. Doesn't really matter because those people knew darn well when they signed up that they were going to go in and shoot and murder and kill people, period. That was their point for joining. How can we sit and point our fingers all the time and claim that there's always all these external enemies without ever really looking at ourselves and asking ourselves whether we are the enemy or not? These are the features that one has to think about. These are the things that you have to think about, especially considering the fact that we tend to just pass blame, pass the buck. When the BP oil spill happened, everyone was trying to figure out whose fault it was. It was BP's fault. No, wait, it was Halliburton's fault. No, 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 wait, it was Obama's fault. And meanwhile, the ocean itself is corrupted. All the sea life starts dying off. And as we all point the blame to one another, nothing is getting done. Because everyone's trying to establish who's the bad guy, who's the wrong, who's in the wrong. No direct action was taken. As a matter of fact, the worst part about it is there are form of direct action was taking a bunch of paper towels out there and layering it on top of the water so it would soak up the oil. Brilliant.
mankind's earth, this is what we have. This is what we abuse. This is what we're destroying. And you can call me a liar. You can say that I'm incorrect about this. But mankind got here collectively, together. Mankind did this. We have species that are dying off at massive rates. The human being con uh, continues to thrive, but eventually the population will keep going up, 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 until it has nowhere else to go, and then it will take a nosedive because as it goes up, we're going to eat up more and more resources. As it goes up, more and more animals will have to be killed. As it goes up, the next thing that happens is we're the next on the chopping block. The human beings. Because there won't be enough left. And the human beings will eventually end up cannibalizing each other. That is the way this will go. Everyone's always worried about the zombie apocalypse. The fact of the matter is, they do have the virus. They did try it out. It is effective. But why would they need that? Human beings are getting ready to do the job themselves. Human beings don't need to turn into the walking dead to decide that they are hungry and when they can't find any more food, they'll eat their own children. That's the way this will go. Quit looking for an enemy. Learn to take care of one another. Learn to love one another. We're all made of this. We're all finite. We all have to bend over to take a poo, okay? All of us come with eyes, ears, and a lot of people are always separating themselves by skin tone or whatever else. Uh, tall, small, fat, thin, blonde hair, blue eyes, green eyes, dark skin, brown eyes. Human beings find a way to separate themselves in any way, shape, and form that they can. Religion, interests, any way that they can put themselves on a pedestal and make themselves feel as if they are superior in some way, shape, or form, they will do it. And this is one of the reasons why this quarantine of gravity exists down here is because we do not get along with one another. You wonder why you never get to really see aliens? You wonder why there aren't any other beings that come in? Well, they're actually here. They just exist in a, a frequency that you can't reach and touch them. Because the fact of the matter is, they realize that we are archaic. We are violent. We are negative. We are fearful. We are hateful. Why would anyone put themselves in the same field with us? Doesn't make a lot of sense now, does it? Right there is a woman who is walking with a shopping cart. You want to know why? Because she's homeless. She doesn't have as much as the rest of everyone else. So she's walking along trying to live her life to the best that she can because of disparity. Mankind doesn't have to have disparity, but guess what? It does.